as thousands of years have passed, industry disrupting innovations have continued to alter how business is conducted. From paper to stone tablets and from computers to the cloud, the accounting profession has continued to stand the test of time as a way to protect investors of a company. After learning in school and on the job that there was no possible way to assess all information of a company that goes into their financial statements, I set out to find an alternative using an emerging technology called blockchain. For those of you that may have heard of blockchain, you've probably heard the buzzwords, mining, hash, encryption, and so on. And you may even think that miners are a group of people taking a pickaxe to some online cloud in the sky. To understand blockchain, you can think of a rock climber scaling the side of a mountain. Each move they make is meticulously calculated. And before they stick their next pick into the side of the mountain, their entire being is working to solve their move. After executing that move, they then move on to solve the next. Blockchain operates under a similar premise. When data is being added to the blockchain, a network of miners is working to solve a complex, rigorous equation to encrypt data onto the chain. The entire network works to solve this equation, and after solving it, moves to the next. As data is added onto the blockchain, it can then be aggregated to form a traceable ledger that is autonomous unchangeable, and practically impenetrable from cyber threats. When a resident smart contract is used in conjunction with blockchain, the result is an agreement written in code that only executes when terms of the contract have been met. After execution, the contract is then recorded on the blockchain without any ability for human interaction once the contract is set in motion. Now, seeing the promise of these two technologies, many companies have taken to developing applications for their operations, such as tracking inventory or the exchange of money for goods and services. But rather than tracking tangible items, what if blockchain technology could be used to help maintain accountability for the financial information that companies are providing to investors? Enron and WorldCom are two companies alone that caused $250 billion of investor losses. These were not incidental losses, however. These losses stemmed from management decisions to fraudulently manipulate the financial information being provided to investors. They did this to help reach their earnings targets and receive their bonuses. Now, not all frauds are this large. But frauds similar to this do happen frequently affecting everyday investors. And that is why the SEC has settled billions of dollars of fines for errors in fraud and financial reporting. In order to safeguard these investor interests, many large companies use ERP systems that aggregate the data, the accounting information, as it flows onto the company's books. The problem with these systems, however, such as in WorldCom and Enron, is that they can be susceptible to those with proper clearance and access who want to manipulate, override, and potentially hack into the financial data being aggregated. The use of blockchain technology can help companies improve the integrity of their financial information. As seen in some of the largest scandals, when accuracy dwindles, investor confidence is lost. And for that reason, it is essential to have increased monitoring and transparency over how companies adapt generally accepted accounting principles in their every day. To safeguard these investor interests, the accounting profession must adapt to an ever-changing world of goods and services. The problem being that as companies continually adapt, current systems tend to lag behind. For example, in the past, many companies could recognize a sale of revenue each time a sale is made. But now, software companies specifically can't recognize all revenue in the event of a purchase. 
only when a service is actually provided. And so if a software company sells a product to a customer that includes three updates over its lifespan, there will be four instances of revenue gain. Once, when the base product is downloaded by the customer, and each time a subsequent update is released. This increased intricacy of recognizing revenue has started to outgrow some of the current systems in place, such as ERP systems. Now, companies need to keep track of a sale of their product, as well as each obligation that is held within the product. To solve this problem, I propose a framework that utilizes blockchain technology as the trigger for recording financial information onto a blockchain ledger. Consider the use of blockchain technology to help recognize the revenue from a service. Only after the service is provided would a smart contract trigger the recognition of that revenue onto the blockchain ledger. First, management would be required to break out each obligation or service held within a sale of a product. Then, each obligation, such as a software update, would be coded into their own smart contract that would only execute when the service is actually provided. So, if a company sells a product to a customer and they download that product, a smart contract would trigger the recognition of the amount of revenue tied to that product onto the blockchain ledger. Then if an update was downloaded, let's say a month later, a smart contract would then trigger the recognition directly tied to that revenue and that update onto the blockchain ledger. At that point, the company and its investors would be able to see exactly how much revenue they have truly earned from providing their services. Now, one instance of a transaction may seem insignificant, but imagine thousands of transactions being aggregated. Blockchain technology has the potential to completely revolutionize how companies collect and present their financial information. You can think of it like this. Imagine a use, taking a unicycle to work every day. It can be done, but you would much rather upgrade to that nice and fast car to go to work. This framework is similar. An ERP system can hold data, but that data takes much more effort on behalf of an auditor to work to verify. Blockchain technology can revolutionize how companies aggregate their data autonomously, making an auditor's job more efficient. Part of that auditor's job is testing the data for existence and completeness. And this can be done by sampling the data and verifying that sample, by sending letters to customers to confirm their balances, among other methods of accounting research. Blockchain technology has the ability to shift an auditor's role from utilizing a reactive approach to a proactive methodology. Rather than spending time verifying transactions because they don't currently have a way to tie all of their financial data to verified transactions, an auditor would discuss management judgments before it is even written into a smart contract code. Management would first discuss their judgments and estimates with auditors to ensure that they completely adhere to generally accepted accounting principles. Only after an auditor's sign-off would the obligation or their judgments be written into a smart contract to execute blanket treatment across all transactions without any human intervention. This technology can be implemented in today's small businesses and tech startups alike. But as the technology becomes more efficient, blockchain will show its value as a way for companies to increase and maintain accountability over their financial statements. I envision a future where all companies can click to create financial statements in real time with integrity. I envision a future where the line between tech and finance is blurred where auditors are not just accountants, but analytical innovators. And I see a future where specialized professions, such as accounting, can rise up through the use of blockchain technology. Thank you.